Now let's start learning a little bit about Angular components by creating some components. I'm going to start with a blog kind of an application where I'm rendering a view which shows a list of blog posts. Have, uh, I'm going to have the style component which is going to show a single blog item and then I'm going to render a view which is a list of those blogs, right? It's a list of those styles one below the other and each style has the blog post title and a brief summary and clicking on the link is going to take them to wherever they can view the post. So I'm going to start this by creating one such component. I'm going to call this the blog tile component. And as we develop this component, we'll learn some of the uh, some of the features of Angular component and some of the intricacies that we're going to have to tackle. I'm going to create the component by using the ng generate component. So this is the command that you can use to tell Angular CLI to generate a component for you. I'm going to call this the blog post tile component. Need to give a space here. So the command is ng generate component and then the name of the component. Now when I hit enter, Angular CLI is going to create a bunch of files here. And it's created this directory which has four files, the HTML, CSS, the test, and the actual component TypeScript file. I'm going to move this a little bit so that it gives us a little more room to work with here. And uh, let's open the blog post style component TypeScript file. The first thing that you, it kind of makes this a component is this add component annotation. Every Angular component has an add component annotation which contains this argument, which is an object, this object contains information about how this component needs to behave. You're basically telling Angular that you want this component to behave in a particular way and then Angular is going to do the right thing when you use the component. The first thing in that property is the selector. This is this HTML tag, which lets you know how to use this component. And then it lets Angular know when a component is being used, which component actually refer to and then instantiate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this in my app.component.html. I'm gonna use the selector. And then when I press save and uh, run ng serve again, I'm gonna refresh this page. And here you see we have successfully used the component that we just created. We used it by using this selector. Now what I want to do is not only create this blog post style component, I also want to create the blog view component. This is going to be the component that lists all the blog posts. So the blog view component is going to have individual blog tile components as its children, depending on how many of our blog posts there are. So what I'm going to do here is kill this ng serve and then do ng generate but this time I'm going to use the shortcut here ngg for generate and c for component if you don't feel like typing the whole thing this will work so this is equivalent to ng generate component and then I'm going to call the blog list what this is going to do is create the blog list component which works exactly the same way at this point there is really nothing that differentiates the blog list from the blog post tile component, each one has its own selector. Now what I'm going to do is copy this over and use the blog list component in my root. And now when I do ng serve, it is going to show the blog list instead. All right, nothing too fancy here, but now what I'm gonna do is use the blog post tile component to show the blog post. This is gonna be one instance of a blog post. Let's create, uh, let's assume we have a blog page where there are, I don't know, 12 blog posts. So there are gonna be 12 instances of this component, each corresponding to one blog post, and they're all gonna be shown in the blog list component. Now let's style this thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is use Bootstrap so that we don't have to do a lot of the basic styling. I'm going to go to getbootstrap.com and this has the current version of Bootstrap which is version 4.1.3. I can use the CDN instead of downloading it so that it saves some time. So I'm going to copy this 
style sheet line. I am not too worried about the JavaScript part of it for now. I'm going to take the style sheet line and put this in my index.html over here, right at the head. So now Bootstrap is going to be a part of my application. I'm going to close this. And now you see the font has changed a little bit. What this does is apply the default bootstrap styles. Then we can use those classes in our components. I'm going to use that. I'll start by using the blog post style component. Now, instead of using this markup that was available from the, from the Angular CLI, I'm going to create an instance of this blog post style component in the list component. So I'm basically creating a component inside another component. So now you see there is just one blog post style. I can create multiple of these. And this is a good starting point for us to style this blog post tile component.